Excellent. Thank you, Yi, uh, for joining on the on the Microsoft 365 feature demo show or whatever we call the whatever we call the series. But uh, Yi, can you do a quick intro as who you are? Yeah, sure. So my name is Yi Han, and I'm a product manager working in SharePoint area for years. So uh, and our team recently is working to deliver SPCU area. Uh, it is short for SharePoint creator updates. So the goal is to bring SharePoint pages to next level. Uh, we'll empower authors to make beautiful pages. That's our goal. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of lot of new features coming up on the on the on the basis as part of the SharePoint creators update, uh, which is good 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 term to actually clarify as well. Thank you for that. Now, in this particular video, we're going to talk about the section section background support. Can you do a quick intro? As what are we doing there? Mm -hmm. Sure, uh, I'm happy to share that we are updating the section background feature in the SharePoint pages and news. Uh, so you might be aware of the recent change on the section shading capability. So we introduced more gradient color and image option to this. And this time we are enabling authoring, authors to upload a custom image as a section background. So we hope this could help author to create very stunning pages with featured sections. So this is yeah. I will showcase how it works later. Yeah. Yes, and le actually, let's do that. I think the easiest way to understand what are we talking is definitely to see it live. So let me actually put the screen sharing enabled so we can actually see a demo. And let's have a look on this uh, beautiful uh, Relic Cloud uh, site with complicated uh, designs, right? Yeah, so um, actually, it's a page that I, I made in like five minutes so yep. um let, let me showcase how it works in the in the actual page so first of all i will showcase how we change the background of the section um so you can open the properties for a one section you might notice that uh there's a lot of a new set of options i've mentioned it's all already available in the production um i can choose one or each, each of them and to change the background. And also this time we enable uh, authors to upload a custom image. So I can change a background from uh, from somewhere I already prepared. So I will, I will use our, my, uh, this is a picture I prepared in advance. So I will, I will upload it and make it a section background loading. Now it's uploading the file to the site, um, and then depending obviously on the uploading speed depends on a, on the file size obviously. But now you have a custom background there. Yeah. So for this cu custom background, we automatically apply a overlay for you to make the ensure the text are readable. But in this case, because like uh, the countdown image is uh, not transparent, so. I can set the overlay opacity very like very low, so it, it won't impact the, how you read uh, read the text on it. So um, I can set the opacity even to zero, so you can see how it looks in the read read mode. And also, uh, I can have more setting on it to add the focal point. This is a new focal point um, um, UI we introduce and in some cases like like the screen ratio is not uh it's it's changing all the time so you can set the focal point as you wish and we also have this preview for you to see how it looks like in different ratio of the screens yep so Makes i want to put that really nice yeah. so i can save it but it's not very clear uh, on this section, but I can showcase you with another section already apply a background here. So I can add a focal point and I want to make the drawn, make the left of the drawn as this focal point. So you can see that if the, if the screen ratio changes, well, the drawing is still there. So that's yeah. the showcase how it looks like. 
makes perfect sense. A lot of flexibility on the on the background settings nowadays. So really very cool to see. And another use case I also like to showcase to all of you is that if you want to set, um, if, if you want to highlight your brand, we also have a way to highlight your brand. You can you can make your logo as a section background. So how it works. So let me show you. Let me choose a logo of the Contoso, which is the real uh, this, this company um, logo. Cloud, yeah. We use the drones everywhere uh, in our demos. So that's understandable. <laughs> yeah, so. And I can set uh, so so all overlay opacity is count to one hundred percent because like it's a very colorful, colorful logo. But when I set to the tile. You can see that actually I can make it very light and yep. neat. So um, we will use this logo to, um, to to highlight your branding and whatever your logo is, or you can choose to edit, uh, edit this logo to make it, for example, um, only black and white. So it will make it more clear to this page but whatever you want it is doable right now yeah so that's actually really cool that you can save the you can edit the image directly there as well and that's awesome stuff this is really really cool there's a lot of lot of opportunities then to really have that inspirational whatever designers want to have then on the background they can actually make that happen now with the with this flex with this flexibility right yeah Really, so, really cool. Um, now, <laughs> yes, that's a good demo on on walking through the different settings and options which we have available. Now, let me actually flip back on the on the demo section uh, on the on the just two of us on the screen. So, what about the future? So, um, are we do we have any specific uh, capabilities there? So, right now, let's just recap. So, the section backgrounds were released a while back. Now, we're releasing the the support for custom uh, images in the section backgrounds. What about future? What's what's happening? Uh, what else is happening? Yeah, for the future, basically two things. Uh, one is actually in our in internal testing environment, we actually enable some animated image as a section background. So which also attract a lot of attention there. So imagine you are building a page to announce a summer event, summer outdoor event, like it serves drinks like soda, you can actually set an animated image of a fizzle, a fizzle uh, water on the back, and it will make users feel like a hot summer is coming immediately and feel like I, I want to have some soda. Um, so while we are still investigating on the performance for this, so video or GIF or another type of uh, file will su be supported in next release for the animated yep. image. So the second thing yep. is that uh, we also hear customer feedback and concerns about the governance from the uh, some conference and some uh, cust customer uh, channels uh, with more and more customization available uh, on the page side. We are also considering adding a um, opt out for the future to turn it off completely on the site yep. or brand center level. So it's still uh, under di discussion. So yep. we're looking for more control and for the site. Yeah. So just to recap the both of them. So the first one was the, the videos and moving pictures as a background. That's a really cool thing as well. Not that you want to have a you know the whole page with moving backgrounds, but maybe one every now and then there's a one small movement uh, will, will make the page even more beautiful. And then the other one, as I said, that's actually really important as well. And that that is coming pro 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 most likely from enterprise customers that they want to block some of these settings and options um, mm. and uh, that maybe the brand central is the, the right thing to do that so having a centralized control for enterprise level on what are the mm -hmm. section background options which are available uh, for end users to select that's a really good idea awesome idea yeah so we are still collaborating with brand center team and like pages team are working together to figure out where to put the controls yeah 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 so no timelines 
no no actual ETA as an estimated time of arrival at this point, uh, but good things that we're looking into. And of course, there's a gajillion of new other features available and in the pipeline for the modern pages, uh, which we'll talk about more within those videos uh, in future. But I guess that's it. Thank you, Yi, joining on the on the video recording. Uh, really cool to have you uh, on the show. Uh, we talked, we worked together for quite a few years in the past, and so cool to do this together as well. Thank you, Vesa, for having me in this call. Thank you. Thank you.